Never think of buying good quality meat at unbeatable price. Think Magilac Butchers, your only suitable solution for quality meat for you and your family consumption. Our comprehensive range of meat products include minced meat, beef slices, top side, knuckle, rump steak, silver side, tenderloin, strip loin, and four quarter. We offer consistent value, quality, and service through animals grass-fed and bred, especially for their meat. This makes the meat much more tasty, succulent, tender, and easy to cook. All meats at Magilic Butchers are halal, including for the first time in the Gambia, the new Mongolian whole lamb, available only at Magilic Butchers. Rush now and visit Magilic Butchers on Caraba Avenue, opposite the Petrogas petrol station traffic lights. For inquiries and orders, please call 76 88688. That is 768 Magilic Butchers, the home of quality meat and chicken products at unbeatable prices. Are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions? Yes. yes. But don't you know about Baluo? Baluo? What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop. And you don't have to worry about the exchange rates. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money. Hi, you're watching Kerfato. My name is Buba Gajigo. And this is your educational program. We're going to bring you primary school lessons. If you have kids at primary school level, please get them prepared. Give them a pencil and a book. I hope you will enjoy these lessons. Are you thinking of owning your dream homes? EJ Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three, or four bedrooms. Or our story buildings, three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans. At our Sanyang Sea View Estate, where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, school, children daycare and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, solar panel and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259-220. Or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties.
Golden and Bulolo with whatever we do. Dion is our food, with whatever we do. Halay the moon is cool. Nepam ne ne kudlu kula, nepam gira gala gena, nepam ne ne kudlu kula. Ibulo ke nongo to ni beti sola, ibulo ke da to ni beto do. Bengi, eh eh, bengi kongo. Lamin, na? Lamin te jine nori te ni ame lamin. Kamana ulo kono, ulo kono ni te mo lamin. Pabilengi, muna ngata afamole. Aha na, ngata ngata. Fabrama, Mingi, Fabrama, Fabrama, Et Lamin <coughs> Il <coughs> <coughs> <coughs>
Hello viewers and listeners, welcome to another mathematics lesson for the lower uh, basic category. And this lesson is intended for students in grade 4, 5 and 6. In our today's lesson, uh, we'll look at um, addition of fractions with unlike denominators. But before we start, um, let's have a recap of our previous lesson on adding fractions with common denominator. So here we have two questions. Question 1 reads, 3 over 9 plus 4 over 9. I'll take that again. 3 over 9 plus 4 over 9. So we have two fractions, and we are to add the two fractions together. And if you observe denominators of the two fractions, you realize that it is the same. You have 9 in both fractions. So... Already we know from our previous lesson that if you are adding fractions of a similar denominator, that is if the denominators are common, you, what do you do? You add the numerators and you maintain one denominator. So here in question 1, if we add 3 over 9 to 4 over 9, going by the rule, we are going to have 3 plus 4 will give us 7 over, since our denominators are the same, so we just maintain 1, and that is 9. So when we add 3 over 9 to 4 over 9, the result is 7 over 9. We move on to question 2. Question 2 reads, 6 over 11 plus 2 over 11 plus 1 over 11. I'll take that again. 6 over 11 plus 2 over 11 plus 1 over 11. What can we observe from these fractions? We can observe that we have three fractions. And in all the three fractions, we have what? A common what? Denominator. So in each fraction, we have 11 as the denominator. Again, going by the rule, it says, if you are adding fractions with a common denominator, what do you do to the numerators? You add the numerators and you maintain one denominator. And that's exactly what we are going to do here. So, this will be equals to 6 plus 2, that would give us 8. 8 plus 1 will give us 9. So we'll have 9 all over. Since the denominators are the same, what do we do? We just maintain 1, and that is 11. So we'll have 11. So when we add 6 over 11 plus 2 over 11 plus 11, 1 over 11, the result, that's the answer is 9 over 11. So, this is just a recap of uh, what we have been doing in our previous lesson. We now move on to the, in our today's lesson proper. Okay, it says adding with unlike denominators. Adding with unlike denominators. It says, to add fractions with unlike denominators, rewrite the fractions as equivalent fractions with a common denominator. Then, add the fractions. Make sure your answer is in its simplest form. Okay? I would like to take that again. Adding unlike denominator, fraction with unlike denominators, it is saying that to add fractions with unlike denominators, Rewrite the fractions as equivalent fractions with a common denominator. Then add the fractions. Make sure your answer is in its simplest form. Okay, this is a rule. And if you can recall from our previous lesson where we are adding fractions with a common denominator, we were told that 
since the denominators are the same, what we need to do is just to add the numerators. But this time around, we have another thing, which is what? We are to add fractions with unlike denominators. So in that case, it is telling us if we are to do that, we first need to rewrite the fractions into what? Equivalent fractions. But with what? Something that is very, very important. It has to be what? With a common denominator. This is very, very important. Okay? Once we are able to do that, the next stage now is to add the fractions. Using the previous rule, things will have a common what? Denominator. Okay. How are we going to do that? We have, in the first fraction, we have, we have 4 over 9 plus 5 over 8. And since we want to rewrite it as an equivalent fraction with the goal of having a common denominator, it is going to be, what are we going to do? We will take the denominator of the second fraction and multiply it by both the numerator and the denominator of the first fraction. In the second um, fraction, what are we going to do? We are going to make sure that we will take the denominator of the first fraction and multiply it by the numerator and the denominator of the second fraction. Now, I would like to take that again. In order to rewrite these fractions as an equivalent fraction with a common denominator, we look at the first fraction, and then we also look at the second fraction. We will take the denominator of the second fraction, multiplied by both the numerator and the denominator of the first fraction. And then we will move on to the second fraction. And what we are going to do there is we are going to take the denominator of the first fraction and multiply it by both the numerator and the denominator of the second fraction. Now, how will that look like? How are we going to do that? We said 4 over 9, which is our, our fraction, our first fraction, we multiply it by the denominator of the first fraction. Now, the denominator of the second fraction is 8. So we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 8, which is the denominator of the second fraction. Plus, we'll do the same for the second fraction. We multiply it by the denominator of the first fraction, which is 9. So we multiply the numerator by 9. We also multiply the denominator by, by 9. So I'll take that again. What I did here is I multiply both the denominator, the numerator and the denominator by the denominator of the second fraction. Now when you go to the second fraction, what I did there was I multiplied both the denominator and the numerator by the denominator of the first fraction. This will give us what? 4 times 8 will give us 32 all over. 9 times 8 will give us 72. Plus, 5 times 9 will give us 45. All over. Now, 8 times 9 will give us 72. So what do we have here? We have 32 over 72 plus 45 over 72. What can you observe from these fractions? We have now rewrite the previous fraction as an equivalent fraction with a common denominator. Now you can see that the, denominator, the denominators are the same. So we have 72 as a denominator for both the first fraction and the second fraction. This is what we were looking for. Okay? Now what is the next step now? Again, now it's very easy. We just have to refer back to our previous rule, which says if the denominators are the same, what do you do to the numerators? You just add the numerators. So what do we do? We have 32 plus 45, and that is going to give us 77 
all over, we maintain one denominator, which is 72. We have 72. Okay, but if you can refer back to our, our note that was given to us, it is saying that we have to make sure our answer is written in its what, simplest form. Okay? So we have 77 over 72. Do we have any number that can go into both 77 and 72 without any remainder? Do we have any? No. So what do we need to do here? It's very simple. 72 goes into itself, that's 1. Into 77 is 1 time. Remainder, um, 5 all over 72. So this is our answer. Okay? Okay, we have another question, and it reads 2 over 5 plus 1 over 4. 2 over 5 plus 1 over 4. So we have two fractions, and we are to add the two together. But what can you observe here? We can observe that the denominators are different. For the first fraction, the denominator is 5, and the second fraction, the denominator is 4. So in order for us to solve this, we need to do what? We need to rewrite the fraction as what? An equivalent fraction with a common denominator. So in order to do that, remember how we did it in the previous slide? We take the first fraction and multiply it by the denominator of the second fraction. And then when you come to the second fraction, we multiply this second fraction by the denominator of the first fraction. So now let's do that. It's going to be 2 over 5. So what do we do? Look at the second fraction. The denominator is 4. So we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 4 plus how about the second fraction? The second fraction we have 1 over 4. And what are we going to do? We are going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the denominator of the first fraction. And that is 5. So we multiply by 5. We multiply by 5. So what do we have? 2 times 4 will give us 8. 5 times 4 will give us 20. Plus 1 times 5 will give us 5. All over 4 times 5 will give us 20. So we have our two fractions, and what can we observe from the two fractions? We can, we can see that the denominators are the same. Okay? Now that the denominators are the same, we go by the, our rule, our first rule, which says what? If the denominators are the same, you just add the numerators and you maintain one denominator. So what are we going to add? 8 plus 5 will give us what? 13 all over 6 denominators are the same like I said earlier we just maintain one denominator and that is 20 so our answer is 13 over over 20 ok can we further simplify this? no so our answer is 13 over 20. We move on. Okay, we have another problem and it reads 5 over 7 plus 1 over 3. 5 over 7 plus 1 over 3. So we'll have 5 over 7 plus 1 over 3. Okay? Again, we can observe that our denominators are not the same. So we need to rewrite this fraction as an equivalent fraction with a common denominator. So what do we do? We know that the denominator for the first fraction is 7 and the denominator for the second fraction is 3. So we are going to multiply 3, which is the denominator of the second fraction, by the first fraction. And that is going to be 5 over 7, we multiply it by 3, 
that's the numerator, and also we multiply the denominator by three. Then plus, our second fraction is one over three, and we are going to multiply this fraction by what? The denominator of the first fraction, which is seven. So we multiply the numerator by seven, and also we do the same for the numerator, we multiply it by the denominator by seven. So what are we going to do from here? We multiply the numerators. Five times three will give us 15, all over. Seven times three will give us 21, plus. We move on to the second fraction. The numerator we multiply. One times seven will give us seven, all over. Three times seven will give us 21. So, what can we observe from here? We can observe that the denominators are the same, and this is exactly what we wanted, right? We want to make sure that we have a fraction with a common word, fractions with a common denominator, and the common denominator is 21. So in the first fraction, we have 15 over 21, and in the second fraction, we have 7 over 21. So now, we can go ahead and add, because the denominators are the same. So now we add the numerators. 15 plus 7 is going to give us 22. All over, we maintain one denominator, which is 21. Okay, remember, we are asked to make sure that our answer is written in its word, simplest form. Now, do we have any number that can divide both 21 and 22 without any remainder? Do we have any? No, we don't have. So what do we need to do here? We just have to say what? 21 goes into itself, 1. Into 22 is 1 time remainder 1 over 21. So that's our answer. That's one whole number, 1 over 21. Now let's go back to the options. A reads 1 whole number, 1 over 21. B, 1 whole number, 1 over 7. C, 3 over 4, 5. And D, 2 over 7. So the right answer is A. Right? It's one whole number, 1 over 21. We move on. Okay, we have another problem. And it reads, 1 over 2 plus 2 over 9 plus 1 over 3. I'll take it again. 1 over 2 plus 2 over 9 plus 1 over 3. Now we can observe that we have three fractions. And if you look at the previous slides, we were just dealing with two fractions. But now we have three fractions, and if you observe the denominators, they are all different. For the first fraction, the denominator is two. The second fraction, the denominator is nine. And then the third fraction, the denominator is three. So they are all different. So what do we need to do here? Again, we go back to the rules. It says what? For us to be able to add these fractions, we need to rewrite the fractions again as an equivalent fractions with a common denominator, okay? So again, like we were doing for the two fractions, we'll do the same thing here. But the only thing is, for the first fraction, we are going to multiply it by the denominator of the second and the third fraction. When you come to the second fraction, what are we going to do? We are going to multiply the second fraction by the denominators of what? The first and the third fraction. And then when we move to the third fraction, we are going to multiply that fraction by the denominators of what? The first and the second fractions. I, I hope that is understood. I will take it again. For us to be able to make sure that we rewrite this fraction as an equivalent fraction, we are going to multiply the first fraction by the denominators of the second and the third fraction. For the second fraction, we will multiply the fraction by the denominators of the first and the third fraction. And then the third fraction, we are going to multiply it by the denominators of what? The first and the second fraction. Okay, we can start. The first fraction, we have 1 over 2. So we multiply it by the denominators of what? The first, the second and the third fraction. And that is 9 times 3. Okay, we do the same for the denominator. We multiply it by 9 times 
3 plus. We move on to the second fraction. We have 2 over 9. So what are we going to do? We multiply it by what? The denominators of what? The first and the third fraction. And that is 2 and 3. So we multiply it by 2 times 3. We do the same for the denominator. Multiply it by 2. Multiply it by 3. Then we move on to the third fraction, which is 1 over 3. Again, we multiply this fraction by the denominators of what? The first and the second fraction, which is 2 and 9. So we multiply the numerator by 2 times 9. The denominator also 2 times 9. Good. Next, we do the multiplication. 1 times 9 will give us 9. And 9 times 3 will give us what? 9 times 3 will give us 20. 7. All over. 2 times 9 is 18. 18 times 3 will give us 54. Plus. 2 times 2 will give us 4. 4 times 3 will give us 12. All over. 9 times 2 will give us 18. 18 times 3 will give us 54. Plus. 1 times 2 will give us 2. 2 times 9 will give us 18. All over. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 9 will give us 54. Okay. Okay. So what can we observe from these fractions? We have 27 over 54 plus 12 over 54 plus 18 over 54. So we can see that the denominators are the same for all the three fractions. Okay? The denominators are the same. So what do we need to do? We go by the first rule which says if the denominators are the same, all you need to do is to add the numerators and you maintain one denominator. We have 27 plus 12 will give us 39. And 39 plus 18 will give us 57. All over, we maintain one denominator, which is 54. So we have 57 over 54. Can we think of a number that can divide both 57 and 54 without leaving a remainder? Do we have any number? Yes. 3 can go, right? So... 3 into 54 is 18 times, into 57 is 19 times. So we have 19 all over 18, okay? Do we have any number again we can divide both 19 and 18 without leaving a remainder? No. So we can further simplify this as... 18 goes 1 into 19 is 1 times remainder, 1 over 18. So our answer is one whole number, 1 over 18. We move on. Okay, we have another question similar to the previous one. We have 1 over 7 plus 2 over 5 plus 1 over 2. I'll take it again. 1 over 7 plus 2 over 5 plus 1 over 2. So we have three fractions and we are to add these three fractions together. So what we need to do, going by the rule, we multiply what? The first fraction by the denominators of the second and the third fraction. So we'll have 1 over 7 times... 5 times 2. We do the same for the denominator. We multiply it by 5 times 2. Plus, we move on to the second fraction, which is 2, 2 over 5. We multiply this fraction by the denominators of the first and the third fraction. And there, we multiply it by 7. We multiply it by 2. And we do the same for the denominator. We multiply it by 7. We multiply it by 2. Plus, the third fraction is 1 over 2. Again, we multiply this fraction by 
the denominators of the first and the second fraction, which is 7 and 5. So we multiply it by 7, multiply it by 5, the same, 7, and multiply it by 5. So we now multiply. 1 times 5 will give us 5. 5 times 2 is 10 all over. We have 7 times 5 is what? 7 times 5 is going to give us um, 35. 35 times 2 will give us 70. Plus 2 times 7 will give us 14. 14 times 2 will give us 28 all over. 5 times 7 is 35. 35 times 2 will give us 70 plus 1 times 7 will give us 7. 7 times 5 will give us 30. 35 all over. 2 times 7 is 14. 14 times 5 will give us 70. Okay. Now what can we observe from these fractions? We can see that the denominators are the same. Okay, and this is exactly what we wanted. Since the denominators are the same, what do we do to the, to the numerators? We just add them, right? So we add 10 plus 28 is going to give us 38. And 38 plus 35 is going to give us 73. All over, we maintain one denominator. Because the denominators are the same, we have 70. Okay. Do we have any number that can divide both 73 and 70 without any remainder? Do we have any? No. So what do we do? 70 goes 1 into 73 is 1 times remainder 3 over 70. So this is the answer. We have one whole number 3 over 70. Okay. Okay. That brings us to the end of this lesson. But before I go, I'll leave you with some questions to try. And question one reads 3 over 8 plus 1 over 5. I'll take it again. Question one reads 3 over 8 plus 1 over 5. Question two reads 3 over 6 plus 4 over 7 plus 2 over 4. I'll repeat. Question 2 reads, 3 over 6 plus 4 over 7 plus 2 over 4. Now I'll try this, and then um, when we meet again, we'll try to do the correction. In the meantime, um, thank you so much for following the program. That's the lessons. Thank you. COVID-19. Leave no one behind. Coronaviruses are a large family of viruses that cause illness, ranging from the common cold to more severe lung diseases. COVID-19 is the most recently discovered disease caused by coronavirus. As we fight this pandemic, we must be kind by supporting others. COVID-19 is not specific to any sex, gender, race, nationality, or skin color. So, let us not stigmatize or discriminate against anyone or certain groups. Fear of exclusion and discrimination may result in those who may have contracted COVID-19, including migrants, to hide their symptoms rather than seek treatment. This puts everyone at risk of getting sick. In many contexts, people who migrate to work, study, or join their families are key players in nation building, including combating COVID-19. Let us all play our role in challenging misinformation and discrimination against migrants. Be considerate of others' needs and do what you can to help. Encourage others to wash their hands frequently. Avoid touching their face, eyes, mouth and nose. Practice proper cough etiquette. Avoid public places. Practice social distancing and stay at home if they feel unwell. The Gambia is called the Smiling Coast because its people are kind. Let's show that kindness in fighting COVID-19. 
our common enemy. Let's fight it together. For more information or if you experience any symptoms, dial 1025. In communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. Quantities and qualities all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology, we offer you solutions. Enjoy Gumsel's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator, Gamsel, Yaibarom. I got it. Okay, million, Albaca. Albaca, transfer transfer Okay. What's that? Okay. 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 Bring coin of a carton. But it's a carton. For Fifty six branches more of the Gambia. Ah, ha. Gambia Kono and in Gambia Bantala Bampo. Unco Kodo Kia Beret. Kodo Sifa Sifa for Falindiro for Nadi left a member of Kodito Koton in Kodimaro. Janum number one in Yonda. And no for another another enterprise is Sotali. One of Walam Nintuko, Domoral Fanan Kol Fanan Bay Fural, the Daddy Man, and Domoral Fanan Betiat. Gambia Dauda Yalom of Fakindol Sotali. I fell in the house. I left a yell and candle every night. Yale Bukani of Wall, Abarka. Yalan del Chosano. Abarka. Gamtel G Fiber, now you can enjoy super fast internet in gigabytes. G Fiber is affordable, stable, secured, and accessible to homes, businesses, and enterprises. With Gamtel G Fiber, the future is speed. Gamtel, creating a brighter future in communication.
Yara nyila domo roka diyate. Boy, jano sikes rostoran. Eh, sain naku obe nina dimbal. Nimba domo roka la jano. Domo ro sene yata, adi yata, topo toro fana kende ma bige. Luntan during, tamala, abeka domo roki jani. Adi manda wala de. Teka we bige le, anim fana kafa di jang ikono efa. Eka fa minna ko pastry anim bakery. Iko fana beka le. Bade lomba conference lomba workshop lomba ye fofe ni lo dunia kono domoro beta ma ni lom international oti wada number one amange ba domoro janda ma esa domoro jang esa kari ya a wamu kuba ndi sa na kuba sa futa ndi e oto sa na kuba be mu sikes restaurant nda vana janda mu yad ni manje jero mbija aban sikes restaurant known for best quality food and customer satisfaction